True story. You might win a cooking show by cooking good food, but this how you win Gordon Ramsay's heart. They finally found the lamb sauce. Mint jelly you mean I guess. He has finally found a great successor. Gordon Ramsay too. He has finally found his saucer. This guy actually won the first season of Hell's Kitchen, so you aren't far off. Protégé. It's all fun and games until Oscar the toddler starts swearing. Edit, looks like many people on Reddit don't know who Oscar is smh. Coming this summer. The lamb sauce to my heart. Not coming this summer. Old people. Sauce. I was really hoping this would be a picture of lamb sauce in the sauce. But, alas. Some say Overwatch is toxic, some will say Lage of Legends. But have you ever been in a kitchen? Just do coke like everyone else and you're good. Even Gordon Ramsay is impressed. Everyone was quiet and his insult came out nowhere. It was beautiful. His name is Michael who ended up the winner of season 1, but shortly after got divorced and never got his own restaurant. Yeah but at least now he's a karma magnet on Reddit. He went through a lot in life after winning. Had a nasty drug problem during the show and his newborn daughter passed away as well. Wow, this sub has really died if this 16 year old HK clip that's been everywhere on the internet for the last decade has this many upvotes. RIP. I upvoted it pls punish me daddy. Yeah, this sub has absolutely gone to shit over the past year. Anyone else here an October meme war veteran? It was a glorious time. Sauce please. Full metal jacket. Then you've never seen him off his shows. His entire popular persona is a gimmick, he's a total sweetheart, very compassionate and very intelligent, he's an angry bastard for TV only, obviously if you're working with him in his kitchen he'll tell you you're a retarded slab of shit on toast but that's every kitchen. Good morning Master Ramsey Sensei. I watched the entire season and found out that the dude who said it got into big depression and spiral into drug addiction after his wife or child died or something. He got extremely skinny and is recovering last I heard a year ago, I think. Wholesome 100,000. Gordon be like, lol noob. 100%. I got a million on my mind. Legend has it that this is the nicest fuck that Gordon never said. I bet Gordon Ramsay is into that shit. Dewberry, I'd rather you say I was Brad Pitt's wife. Ralph, that guy's got issues. Trangeli Wholesome. This guy was season 1 winner and got wrapped up in hard drug. He's clean now and trying to get a food truck to make a living. Here's his GoFundMe Michael Ray GoFundMe. What are you? A brilliant sandwich. Shit that was a good season the dude was a straight pushover but Gordon kept telling him he needs to speak up and yell at them and this was like the first thing he said, out of nowhere. Like the kitchen is dead quiet and he randomly yells that out lmao. I wonder how long he was practicing that. The laugh though. Rarer than rare. By acting like him. Don't old people cook good food? That chef was good too. Pretty sure he won that season and impressed Gordon a lot. I kinda not like Ramsey but am I the only one? Cause I don't know if he is very famous in a positive or negative way. Yes. You know for sure he's gonna steal that line. Ramsey noted that for later use. I've seen that episode a billion times and to this day I don't know what that means. Oh dear, oh dear gorgeous. You cook like old people fuck. Beautifully. Slow and sloppy. Full white jacket. What show was this? Heard that line somewhere in full metal jacket. Here we go, down the Gordon Ramsay rabbit hole. Edgy. He looks like a proud dad. Where is this man? I must meet the person who has risen to the top of all chefs. Kind of gross but ultimately sweet and aspirational? Gordon, perfectly spicy, perfectly roasted, just phenomenal. Thank you chef. 
I remember Gordon saying afterwards that saying things like that are useful sometimes because it adds energy to the kitchen and helps cohesion. No one wants to work in a silent, stressful kitchen. SOS. The dude thought about that line all night long before he said it. Looks like he's thinking more, this is my monster. This is what I've created. From all accounts outside of reality TV, he's actually a really nice guy. Anyone got the source slash link for complete episode? This is, strangely wholesome. What season is this from? I never thought I would see Gordon blush. Michael then won the season. Gordon S. Slow and, wow. I guess it worked because he won too. Slow. Carefully. On Viagra. Flaxid. I wish they would have shouted this out in response. How can I download this? Now you're cooking with sass. Slow and pathetic. This roast is so fucking burnt it makes Grenfell Tower look like a campfire. AHH, the cooking industry. How the fuck is this dank? His smirk made me feel so happy. He knew what he was doing. Slow, sloppy, and confused. Wow congrats bro on achieving award and upvotes. You know you've reached the peak in life when you impress Gordon Ramsay with your insults. Going to get the cook of the year award. Earlier I used to savor every meal but after watching Gordon Ramsay I give 2.5 star to 5 star restaurants. And the best insult comes from his own daughter with her legendary roast. How does it feel to be the daughter of the best cook in the world? I don't a Euro trademark T no. I a Euro trademark am not Jamie Oliveira Euro trademark S daughter. Eat a Euro trademark S based off of an insult from Full Metal Jacket. He Euro trademark S the chosen one. He even got him to do a double take. He got laughed at by Gordon afterwards. Gordon seems more embarrassed here than impressed to me. If you manage to impress Gordon then you can impress anyone in this world. You know you're funny when you get 11k upvotes. Nothing like being a verbally abusive boss. Haul up. If you wanna make it rhyme, even my mom's puss puss tastes better than this couscous. Kaus is vagina in Hebrew. Couscous is a very common dish in Israel. Needless to say there are a lot of jokes about this. This chicken is so dry, Ben Shapiro tried to fuck it. In my finest chef Boyardé accent. My wife, she a hobby a juicy pussy. I also choose this guy's mom's puss puss. I remember that from season 1 of Hell's Kitchen. The guy was a bit quiet and couldn't really perform on the hot plate, where he is now, so at a random point out of the blue he just yell you people cook like old people. Fuck. And it was the funniest shit. Dude also had a creepy moment where he prayed to the Gordon Ramsay billboard behind the group's flat. It's, like old people fuck which is what makes it a great insult. Your period gets in the way of old people fucking. Poor dude got a bit nervous. He went quiet on the word, fuck there. It's one of those scenarios where you executed 100% in your head but then you butcher the crap out of it IRL. Really like the dude. It's a shame how his life went post Hell's Kitchen. But last I saw he's kind of gotten it back on track. Everyone feels like an idiot sandwich. He clearly thought to himself. I'm going to use that one. I raised that BOI. Funny. To level up he needs to call someone a fucking donut. Brilliant. That guy was the very first winner of that show. I swear I would award this post if I could. Hopped up on drugs accompanied by a Viagra induced boner? I remember that episode. My wife and I were like damn. Someone is channeling their inner Gordon. That guy won that season with a broken arm. Yes, chef. His successor. It's like my mama always used to say, if you don't have anything nice to say, just say it to a group of people in Gordon Ramsay's presence. Slow and sloppy. With sensitivity, skill earned over many years, and a deep understanding of one's partner's needs. 
My two favorite Ramsey lines come from the British version of Restaurant Nightmares. Some late teens slash early twenties kid had worked his way to chef simply by sticking around for a year and getting the job by default when everyone else left. He really sucked and Ramsey was teaching him like he was in his first days of culinary school. The first line was when the guy was carelessly piping stuffing into chicken breasts and Ramsey says I told you to make love to it. Not fuck it. And the second was during a service prep, the guy was puttering around taking his sweet time and Ramsey says, what are you doing? You're young. You should be getting 12 hard-ons a day. Not one a bloody month. Fucking classics. Oh I love him. This guy won too did he not? Or you find the fucking lamb sauce. If old people fuck so bad why do all the young people who date old fucks say that the sex is the best part? I can hear this gif. Yes you may be verified in kitchen hell, but are you verified in the eyes of Gordon Ramsay? A cook after Chef Ramsay's heart. The rest of the line is slow and sloppy. Bullies love bullies. My sixth grade teacher was Matt's sister-in-law and in the couple week break before the first season finale of HK, he came to our school and taught us how to cook a few dishes. Super chill dude but you could tell he was a badass, sixth graders always know. Please downvote this comment. You idiot sandwich. What season is this? Pretty sure this is the finale to season 1 and this is Michael or David and he has to run the expo station using players who have already lost and forming a small team. Hell's Kitchen can be cheesy, but it's good entertainment and shows the rush and stress when it comes to cooking. He committed laugher. Come here come here over here. Fuck off. Apparently old people sex is awesome. They don't care that much anymore and feel more free. I was literally watching an episode of Hella Euro Trademark S Kitchen and then I got a notification for this meme. Sauce. True Eta Euro Trademark S $20. What's the punchline? Saw this in new. They grow up so fast. Nice. This is peak teacher cocksuckling. Yeah he knows he is on TV. Which website do you use? Is this an insult or a compliment? BC my grandmother said that I did great last week. Gordon, I raised that boy. Which season slash episode is this from? Perfectly roasted. Please tell me what episode this is from. I need to watch it. No no but he bass got a point. My life would be complete if I could make Gordon Ramsay laugh with my insults. I'm proud of you. You retarded fucking idiot. Wow. Melted. Gordon had to hide his face. Priceless. Not bad you fucking arse eating donkey. Ramsey enjoys a roast. Your sweet troll is so dry it beats Skeleton by only existing. Link on original show. WTF does dank even mean anymore? LOL this is just a regular meme. Poor private pile. I wanna win his cock. Seeing Gordon laughing in the kitchen and not seeing his eyes shooting lasers in search of the lamb sauce is spectacular. Frequently. I love it. How old people fuck. With experience and efficiency. I've never seen so many award. A man after Gordon's own heart. God that man is a national treasure. Or he's laughing that people believe he's really that ignorant to his staff on a daily basis, and this guy is emulating a character he's trying to portray to remain rich. I'd laugh too. This is hilarious. I feel bad for what happened to that dude. Won the show and eventually got bad on drugs and slash or alcohol. Which of Gordon's show is this one? Slow and sloppy. Faxes. What does that even mean? Finally, the lamb sauce of cooks. Am I the only one who wonders, did he win? I need to know which show and episode. He's the chosen one. Anyone know which season this is? Slow and sloppy. Old people fuck. If take that as a compliment, they have the thirds of a century of experience. Slow and sloppy. 
They do cook like they have a 12 inch dildo up their arse and they put too much lube on it so they're trying to not let it slip out. What was the sauce to the video? You guys cook like old people fall down the stairs. Hope they don't die too. He won too. This is not even a meme, just an Instagram caption on top of a video. Full metal jacket. I remember this scene, fucking hilarious. 127k upvotes in 10h will done. You fucking donkeys. And then he won, fueled a drug addiction, lost it all, and recently tried to fund a food truck via GoFundMe. Slow and sloppy. George Carlin. Haha <laughs> guys upvote me and stuff. What is this myth that Gordon Ramsay invented this insult? You climb obstacles like old people fuck, do you know that private pile? From Full Metal Jacket. True intellectuals only eat raw salt and pepper. It's fucking raw. Don't forget olive oil. You run the risk of under seasoning the oil. My dietary plan is foolproof. Sautéed in butter, but you have to freeze and then brunoise the butter before it goes in the pan. Which one is the raw chicken? Every dish is overcooked or under seasoned. Fucking white people. Please don't publish trade secrets like this in a public forum. Nice name bro. Thanks, dog. Context. His name is essentially fuck the police. I don't know I thought it was a pretty good documentary. Do someone else's coke though, that shit's expensive. It really is, I don't even do it but fuck that, it's the most expensive shit I've seen. Heroin with a tolerance enters the chat. Gordon Ramsay the second. Gordon Jr. He needs to keep cooking until he is worthy enough to eat Gordon's hair and become the new number one. Gordon Ramsay, cook for all. Gordon Ramsay 2, electric boogaloo. El gordito el dos. WTF is with that video's editing? That came out of the, you guys cook, then he turns around, like old people beep I couldn't believe it. Yes chef. Thank you chef. Am I having a stroke or is that video fucked? Sigh. Unzips. I'll reluctantly allow you a stroke. You're doing God's work, son. I first read it as, you guys cook like old people, fuck, the original is much better. Michael from season 1. One season one of Hell's Kitchen and Gordon offered him a head chef job at one of his restaurants in London instead of being a head chef at another restaurant in I think Las Vegas. No one else has been offered this ever since. Things took a bad turn for him not long after that, his daughter died and he went hard on opioids. He managed to get into rehab, met his future wife and worked his way up to head chef again. Nice meme. That's a really old joke from George Carlin. You drive like old people fuck slow and sloppy is one of his most famous lines from Carlin on campus. This is way too far down. It's part of his driving rant. Don't you wish you had a message board? Mimes typing you drive like old people fuck, slow, and, sloppy yai, grins manically. I immediately control plus F Carlin to make sure this was being shared. This and some people who should be castrated with a baseball bat are some of my favorite Carlinism. Gordon, you spoke my line bastard. Things took a bad turn for him not long after that, his daughter died and he went hard on opioids. He managed to get into rehab, met his future wife and worked his way up to head chef again. He was on opioids even during the filming of that season. I'm glad he turned his life around though. He seemed like a chill dude. Oh no. He seemed like a great guy. I feel bad about the fact that his daughter died. Glad he managed to get into rehab and rebuild his life. Thanks for watching if you could like subscribe and comment best reddit stories for more reddit videos.